Canada is experiencing its worst fire season. A major heat wave, they will likely hit 100 degrees. Extreme weather events have become more frequent and intense due to the increase in greenhouse gases from human activities. However, with scientific data, figures, and plots, it's hard to imagine the impact of climate change of individuals as they may perceive the problem that affects only distant regions far in the future. In this work, we aim to visualize the impact of climate change. For example, what if the playground in my neighborhood is affected by extreme flooding? What if the rising sea level swamps parts of my city? Or major cities around the world? What does it look like if the roads on your commute become flooded? In addition to flooding, our method can also simulate other extreme weather, such as snow. It allows to simulate what your campus will look like after a snowstorm. Or in your backyard. We can also simulate smog caused by wildfires and air pollution. Our rendering can be controlled with physically meaningful variables such as smog density, snow particles, or water levels. We can also simulate both muddy and clear water by modeling the refractions and refractions. Our flexible frameworks allow us to simulate other physical entities such as fall leaves. The simulation severely impacts perception tasks such as 3D object detection algorithms. We believe this can be applied to improve the robustness of perception module in autonomous system under bad weather. So, how does it work? We start with training a neural radiance field from multiple images. We can then render the scene from novel viewpoints using barren rendering. First, let's see how we can render the scene with smog. Smog is formed by tiny absorbing particles uniformly distributed in space. This means that we can model smog density in free space by adding a non-negative constant to the density. Changing the values enable us to visualize different levels of smog densities. As we simulate the smog in the 3D space, the resulting rendering are view consistent and physically plausible. Second, how do we simulate flooding? We model the water surface of a flooded thing as a horizontal plane. We use a fast fully transformed base method to produce spatial temporal surface normal maps based on wind speed, direction, and spatial and temporal frequencies. Using the surface normal maps, we can simulate realistic refraction on water. Third, rendering snow is a bit more tricky since we need to know where the snow will accumulate in the scene. They are more likely to be accumulated on surfaces facing upward, and the deeper part of the snow is denser due to gravity. We simulate the snow particles using metabols and estimate their density using kernel density estimation methods. We then compute the spatially varying color of the snow with subsurface scattering effects. This enables realistic rendering of snow in a radiance field. Please check out our project page with paper, code, and more results. Thank you for your attention.